So, um, got it. All Hi, right. everybody. We're here with David. Long time no see, David. Gosh, been so long and too long. He's living in a place that's paradise, you guys. He doesn't know his neighbor's politics. There's no homelessness there. It's like paradise. Yes. Yeah. People get nobody, paid a decent wage. Nobody talks down to people. You know, it's like I used to, I had to, in high school, I was bussing tables and people in Los Angeles, you know, in a mall. Oh my <laughs> you God. can just guess on how rude people were, how mean they were and how pretentious they were. You will never encounter that in Australia. Right. You it's know, almost, is New Zealand the same? Well, New Zealand is different. There's, it's much more expensive and a lot of people live in the country. So I didn't have that as much. I didn't, I only went for a few weeks, so I didn't, I don't know it as much, but man, is it beautiful. Yeah. Like, I, I worked with a, a traveling nurse from New Zealand and her father is the one that did, uh, uh, he wrote for Oxford, one of the first uh, ways you could do uh, cleansing, kidney cleansing, you know, mm -hmm. without using a pump, a, a mechanical pump. It was something you put, a hose you put in the peritoneum and you go right. up and down with this bag. And he wrote this book and I said, oh my God, is he real popular in New Zealand? She said, we don't run like that. That's like, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But he would be a big shot here in the US, but no, not out there. They're very low key. You can really appreciate they're very low key. Um, and, you know, if you think about it, you put a bunch of people on this island, some of whom are prisoners, some of whom are guards. It's quite dangerous, right? Um, and you just got to work together. I won't say what they happened, what happened to the Aboriginal people, but those people creating that thing, it's kind of like, well, he's an axe murderer. But he makes good bread. So let's just let him do that. Yeah, there you, you go. Just, you just work with people. So I've known people who have, you know, some mental issues and the government really work with them to support them and find a place for them to live. You know, um, America's really very much become a country that's for, I would not even say it's the rich. I don't think it's 1%. I think it's 0.01% that are just pulling so many strings. Trump wouldn't have been president without my money. You know, yeah. it's now they can, now people are giving billions of dollars. We don't even know who they are. We don't yeah. know if they're Russians. Yeah. And I was just telling them all over the news is uh, flooding in um, Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Onset of sudden flooding and rescues are taking place, but it's not where he's at. Yeah, it's not where I live. That's where I used to live. Right. So um, anyway, I sent a book to David and to Lena, but I don't think they've gotten it yet because Australia is snail mail. It's really, it's, it's really snail mail. Things so. happen like kind of six weeks here after they happen in the U.S. <laughs> it's a, a funny thing. How that right. works. Yeah. So listen, we got a lot of questions, but they're political questions. Are you a little tired of that? I'm totally good. Are you good feeling anything on the E clubs coming up? I'm not feeling no Armageddon or nothing. Well, you know, that's like, I'm glad you asked because I was like kind of uh, not reading on it, not reading on it, not reading on it. And then somebody popped into my field and they're like, you know, very, they weren't necessarily saying it's doom and gloom, but they keep talking about the three days of darkness and they're astrologers and they figured all of this out. And I go, won't be bad. So I kept looking and I'm still looking at, it's just very cloudy. You know, I don't feel like it's, I see my pyramid, but it's kind of cloudy. Sometimes I see energy running through it, which makes me think it's not bad. Like it's a shift is happening, but maybe we won't even notice on a physical yeah, level. Yeah, because it feels like it's stretching out. Like it's not doom and gloom. It's like, yeah, but we're already in the processes. Right. Right. Yeah. And um, I made a point of like in the next week, I'm going to be camping in nature, right? <laughs> kind of, you know, working in the eclipse myself. Um, I always like to do that at least once a year. But yeah, every time I look, it's, you know how it is, Linda. Sometimes we're not supposed to know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. We're just not supposed to know. And I have a little bit of a feeling like, no, nah, Dave, you know, you know, and sometimes you can say something really small and it turns into a big deal um, right. over, uh, as it's repeated. Well, normally I get like before the um, Ukraine war, I felt it coming on. I could mm. feel that mm. energy. 
And I was, uh -huh. I was so panicked. I, I was so panicked. I knew Putin was going to go in there and it was overwhelming. I prayed and prayed and prayed. But I feel that push, you know, but right. this, not so much. Yeah, I definitely don't think it's a negative, whatever's happening. And again, I definitely don't feel like it's so dramatic that we will lose our energy and power for three days. I mean, what do you think about Putin and his endeavors in Iraq? Do you have a feeling, or, or sorry, Iraq, Ukraine? <laughs> do you feel like that's a... Oh, Ukraine is starting to get money from uh, the UN. They've got, they just got a whole bunch more missiles. David, jo David, is, what's his name? Mike Johnson, sorry, the, you're David. Yeah. Uh, right. The guy, he's going to bring the Ukraine deal for a boat and it'll pass. Yeah. And they'll end up getting the money. I think so, yeah. Go Ukraine. All yeah. this chaos and commotion. Now, we could feel that this too shall pass, but we weren't quite sure when. We didn't know it was going to last this long. I'll tell you right. that. Absolutely. I'll tell you that much. But I beyond beyond a reasonable doubt, I know I don't care because people are saying, "Oh, China and Russia are trying to help him Trump win." And I said, "I don't care who helps him. He's his mouth is going to create the chaos, and he's not going to win." Because I right. even saw Putin with his hands on his head, saying, "Somebody tell him to shut up," <laughs> because he just he blows it for himself. Yeah. And yeah, it's like, I think that's what something we always said is that Trump would kill him himself in this process because he can't stop. He no. cannot keep quiet. And finally, he's up against people who are holding him accountable for his words. That wasn't the Congress as much as it was some people in the judiciary and all of and the And a viewers. lot of the people are the people that work for him. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Fix is up. coming out to testify against him with this new trial. Right, right. He's yeah. not going to lie for him. Hell no. <laughs> right on, yes. So, um, so the, you know, America, this is the other hit I'm getting. There will be no civil war. Because like somebody was talking about, oh, I can't wait for the civil war. And I'm like, Really? Well, do you have enough, enough jets and tanks? Because we don't use muskets anymore. Yeah, yeah. There's no way that these people who, the, you know, we're going to, Texas is going to come out of the union. Yeah, go for it. And then you don't have Social Security. You don't have any help from the federal mm. government. Plus, you'll all be arrested for trying to succeed because it's against the law. Yeah. But I am feeling little bits of terrorist action, but uh -huh. not... Like, oh, you know, Armageddon. I see the uh, the U.S. CIA and FBI catching a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I kind of got the feeling of a couple of couple events, but it doesn't seem worldwide dramatic. It seems more uh, local. It's enough. They want people to be afraid. And it's yeah. enough that people are nervous, but mm -hmm. I just see that pretty soon. And then, you know, the Orange Crush will will eventually either he moves out of the country or his physical health is unable but almost like he's done and when he's done that's when everybody else is like in fact all this pro abortion non-abortion and and women need to do this and that that's going out the window i i can't believe they're running on these things every right. special election we have the republicans are losing Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, because women are speaking. Right. You know, Julia Assange is quoted in the Mueller report. And Julia Assange said, Hillary Clinton's really smart. She's going to continue all those American wars. So we want somebody, but if we de if we defeat her and let a fascist take over, then there'll be a backlash. And I hate to say it, I thought he was 100% correct. That's exactly what happened. We got the crazies in. Um, now, I know they don't agree with what he did. I'd say there's a million and a half American people who are dead because of what Julian Assange did. So I'm not ready to forgive him. Right. But um, in any case, it did do that. It swept them so far to the conservative side that they became completely arrogant and went with the crazies, the Lower and Boer, Boberts and MTGs who are not doing the party any good. Nothing. When this we look is back the worst Congress ever. They have done nothing. Ever. 
Ever All he did was focus on impeaching uh, Biden and impeaching Hunter. And it's like, really? And, you know, families, they want to get, they. there's men, American men, that don't want the United States to tell them that their daughter who was raped has to carry the fetus of another, of the rapist. They don't yeah. want that. It's not just women. Right. They want rights for their child. And the right. other thing is they they going against uh, gay rights. Oh, believe it or if tr Trump got back in there, it'd be a whole different party. Yeah. And they're going against, and there's a lot of families that have gay children, gay, you know. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, they're going against that. And they want to cut social securities. What a bunch of dummies. The Congress, the <laughs> United States owes the social security like $3 billion. They've never paid them back. They dipped into the piggy bank and then they act like, oh, you guys are being overpaid. Right, right. Yeah, and how much was that war in Iraq? How many billions and billions? And we could have given you social security for the rest of our uh, Oh, life. I know. Clinton got us back on track and then Bush put us right over the, the edge. Yep. Yeah, we could have, all of those soldiers who fought could have had like graduate school education with the money we spent on that stupid war, which, you know, killed a million people, maybe more in Iraq. Right. You know, I keep getting Trump wanting to make force a judge's hands to put me in jail. I keep getting he deliberately wants that so he can really make more money. What are you feeling? So he wants to do what now? He wants the judge to throw him in jail. Oh, yeah, no question. No question. I mean, these are the moves of a desperate man. Right. right? The, you know, the only way that he could raise money was by being accused of something. And we got to think of the people that still support him. It's just it's just like people in Germany after World War II, they didn't want to admit that they were wrong. You know, so that's why they're keeping the pretense of, you know. Uh, you but know, Germany changed. Are you kidding? If you do the you know, Heil Hitler sign, you get arrested. Yes. Yeah, you're not allowed to read my camp in Germany, right? And, really? Uh, no, you're not allowed to. It's against the law, right? And, so, and he talks about immigrants. His family is just a step away from being immigrants. His wives are immigrants. Yeah. What's he and doing talking about immigrants? His grandfather's a pimp from Germany. You know, he was a pimp. So, <laughs> you know, who's hey, the apple doesn't fall that? far from the tree. No, no, uh huh, right. Not, not to mention you're coming from the perspective of a Native American woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we're all immigrants, okay? You're, yeah, <laughs> really. You. Hey, yeah, sucker, you come in here and hey, my people was here first. Yeah. And yeah. also, I'm Mexican in me, and the Mexicans own California first, sucker. Right, and Texas. Yeah, yeah there you go. Because <laughs> my, my uh, great great grand great 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 grandfather was Jacques. And he came from France to fight in the Mexican-American War, and he fought on the side of Mexico. And at that time, Mexico had a town called San Angelo, which is now a Texas town, but it used to be a Mexican town. He met a beautiful Hispanic lady, and they got married, and that's where my grandfather comes from. They were all tall. A lot of, the, a lot of them had green eyes from Jacques. But my mom was so mad when she found out she has French in her. She don't like the French. <laughs> oh, no, really? <laughs> but, you know, they, they fought hard to keep their land. They got ripped off, too. And they're still getting ripped off. Yeah. I've talked to Native American people in Arizona who lost everything because McCain brought in some company and they paid them some small amount of money for all their land. And, and now the land is totally destroyed and no one can find the money. Right. No so. kidding. Yeah. John McCain. There's just so many sad stories. My tribe, uh, uh, they were severe alcoholics back in the day. And, and my grandfather, he was uh, Hispanic, but he, he, in those days, the husband could get a good portion of the, the native. See, the land belonged to my grandmother. That's where our allotment numbers come from. But in those days, the husband could get a good portion of the land. And he was gambling away her land and everything. But finally they changed the laws. For instance, when my mother died, my father had mineral rights of the land, but he couldn't own the land. That could only happen between my sis, my the children. Oh. 
Yeah, you can't you can't own it. And and oh. then oh, that's good. Yeah, but there's a problem because it's land and so many cousins now own the land and you can't say I'm going to build a little spot right here, a little cabin right here because it has to be agreed with everybody. Oh. Uh, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we get checks from the um the federal it, it's a some federal place cuz back in the day, you know, savages didn't couldn't handle their own money. So right. they did all the the land leases and every and they distributed the monies. I remember my mom getting checks for a dollar something. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. United States Treasury. Uh -huh. And they still handle all the money. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Nothing's yeah. changed. They still handle all the money. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hasn't changed. Oh, and I trust. I trust the U.S. government. Don't you? <laughs> Listen, there years ago, I remember 60 Minutes carried this. They, I was at the Bureau of Indian Affairs myself personally in Oklahoma, and I saw boxes of records just slowing down the halls and stuff. They did not take care of the records. So a lot of information got lost. And the natives came back and sued the American government for tons of land they stole and blah, blah, blah. And the judge was so frustrated because these attorneys for the United States were making it last forever, like Trump. And he apologized to the natives. He says, you know, they have, uh, what is it, the name of it, egregiously disrespected, didn't care, and ripped you off again. And it was yeah. almost like nothing could be done because we were all thinking we we're going to get some big bucks. So, yeah, it's a pity. I... This is weird. Somebody said Bobert is ahead of all her competitors in the Republican primary in Colorado, and is probably going to win the primary. I mm. the weird people say the weirdest things. I can pretty much guarantee you that she is not going to win. Yeah, um, and I've talked to a lot of Coloradans who are just like, "No way!" Or like, you know, she just looks really bad. Um, I just, I interestingly enough, just clicked on her for a moment before we sing, but let's like take a look at. Okay. Yeah. I see a sad Bobert. Poor I do Bobert. too. She, she, her health isn't good either. Sad and angry, right? Yeah. I just got wind that um, Trump is really like, please don't hang out with me and try to be in a picture with me because you're kind really? of. Really? Well, that just happened. She was at some event he was having at Mar Lago and she mm -hmm. got so drunk. He had to get his people to move her out of the way. Yes. Yeah. yeah. MTG really does serve a purpose by making them look like a fool. You yeah. Know? Um, one hopes she won't get elected again. And she, she will, know. though. I saw her get elected. But don't worry. When the January 6th happens and Trump is found guilty for creating an insurrection, then that's when they go back and grab uh, MTG. They're going to grab... Uh, all those people, Matt Gates, everybody, all the ones that were ask, asking for pardons. Yep. Yeah. They're going to grab them. I feel you right. Yeah. So, what do you feel about it energetically if you could tap in? Bonnie Willis, is she, I, I see her getting this done. Well, um, it, it, recently I did something on Bonnie and I did it just before the judge sort of upbraided her and gave her a little smack because of, you know, the relationship that she had. And let's agree, Linda, that's just so stupid. You know, like of all the wrongs that people commit, having an affair with your a coworker. And this guy, much... Trump having his attorneys go after like rabbit dogs. Look at Trump. Right, right. But, you know, they're not going to do that. She's sort of how like the black lady is put on a, like a certain, a certain scrutiny. But, um, and that did happen. I was a little concerned that they would take her off the case. And I think there's still a possibility that the legislature can do something like that. That might depend on whether they're win. But let's take a look right now at Bonnie. Okay. Okay. I see Bonnie one-handed. She's um, she's like got a plate. You know, how sometimes have pictures of people doing multiple plates. She's got one plate. She's kind of moving it over. I do see her being a little bit surprised by something, right? So she's surprised. Maybe that was just what happened. Um, and she gets 
um, even stronger, like more determined from that. What else happens, Bonnie? Mm. I see her succeeding. I see her like climbing stairs on that when there she is in her power. It's just like, is Bonnie, is anybody gonna take you out of this position? I see her holding her ground on a sort of platform. She's there and she's like, got her arms like this. Is anybody gonna take you down? No. Um, I see that they will, the legislature will try to do something and it will be unpleasant for her. Like it won't yeah, be- Yeah, but she was voted in by her constituents. So that's right. very hard for you to remove somebody that was voted in. I think you're right. And I think they'll, I think, you know, I think the interesting thing is, I think they'll try, but I don't think they're going to try very hard. I yeah. think they're starting to realize that Trump is poison. You know, Wisconsin, the, Wisconsin uh, voted the, for that uh, Democrat to be a judge. And they were trying, the Republican legislator was trying to remove her. And they said, no, you can't do that. She was voted in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a... Um, it's amazing the shenanigans that we have been subjected to by the Republican Party. Let me check one more time. Bonnie, what do you think? Okay. okay. <laughs> Bonnie just made a basket. She just went this like full she made, uh, okay. I That's think she's gonna make it. I think that this has process has been really personal. It just shows you what the Republicans will do. They'll take you down personally and ruin your life if you that was their point is to make somebody feel bad for going after Trump, maybe make their life kind of ruined. Um, but yeah. I think all it's done has made all of us more determined and her in particular. Right, exactly. Um, you know, I just heard today that Harris County AG has the right to not allow votes. And I see that going to Supreme Court. Believe it or not, I see it being overthrown. Like they can't do that. Every person vote is supposed to count. So yeah. they can't just say, oh, no, we've decided, which is mostly Democratic, Harris County. It's uh, growing in, with Democrats. And there's going to be so much fighting on that. Watch what happens. This is going to be a big deal. And where is Harris County? In is Texas. It? Texas, yeah. Yep, a lot's going on there. You could feel it. But it kind of has a little bit of a party atmosphere. Oh. I got it. I mean party in the sense of rallying people to these causes, you know, just everything the Supreme Court does, and it's usually wrong. It is in the sense making us all aware of, like, look how corrupt this is. Before it was very subtle. We didn't know that Ginny Thomas was getting $400,000, you know, a year um, and a payment from a conservative organization. How is that even legal? Kevin McCarthy had a job on top of being a senator where he got $800,000 from somebody like the Heritage Foundation. How is this legal that oh, you're yeah. being paid Oh, look by at someone? Kavanaugh. All his debt was paid off. Yeah. Listen, Sheldon Whitehouse is working on this. And when Biden comes in again and we get favorable Senate and Congress, there's going to be some look-see into this stuff. Happy and day. Jenny Thomas is not going to get away. I'm telling you, I see something coming up where she's going to be. It could be that link with the January 6th where Jack Smith's going to say, yeah, let's take a look at you. What what were you doing in there? Yeah. And what's great is it's really pissing her husband off. It's like yeah. he has no ethics. He just got caught. And now he's really mad at her. And um, they're having problems, I think, between the two of them. So I don't mean to wish personal ills on others. But, you know, let's be fair. You know, <laughs> this was really unethical. It was totally wrong what they did. And frankly, oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Yeah, he he's doesn't. got his nose up in the air. Yeah. But it's it's causing them a lot of stress. It is causing him to have some health issues. Yeah, But what he really wants is Trump to get in a sec another term here because yeah. him and Alito will step down and they can put people in from the Federalist Society. Right. Even more conservative people. Yeah. But yeah. no, I, I don't see. 
Trump's not going to be able to win. I'm telling you, all oh, they're going to say, yeah. oh, it was stolen. And because of all these Biden initiated things they did to him, that's why I can't, I, you know, it was, a, a, it was, it's not, a, anyway, we know what the truth is. His body's failing. His mind is going. He is, yes. I mean, I, I think if he lives, if Trump lives to the election, he will be a basket case. And I think it's really key. They'll never put him in a debate with Biden. I right? didn't see that either, because especially in the evening time, he has that syndrome. They just showed him on some something he was doing and he was his words were slurred. And right. Right. I'm telling well, you, Putin is telling everybody, get him off the camera. Right. Right. He, is. he keeps blowing it. He's blowing it daily. So um, if you can take a look, see Steve Bannon, will there ever be any justice on Steve Bannon? Great question. Let's see, Steve. Okay, I love these images because they're always so funny. I see Steve Bannon with like a pea shooter and he's like shooting these peas at, at people, at us. And it's kind of like the feeling of, you're really going to hurt me with that silly pea shooter? So he's shooting them all over the place. But it's interesting because he reaches a limit. It's almost like he reaches a space where there's nothing, there's nothing more. And Probably when like, Trump loses. Yeah, and that might be it. It's just like he's almost, he turns to empty space where there's no audience. And there's a bit of, uh, it's almost like he becomes transparent. So what happens there, Mr. Bannon? Uh -huh. So you're, 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 I think, thinking the same thing. Of, <clears throat> he will be only good if Trump wins. If Trump loses, he's in trouble. He's in if trouble. If nothing else, nobody's going to listen to him. So I think that is, that's the line that he crosses is like once Trump loses, um, well, is he going to go to jail? I do see him in jail. And I think part of it, it has to do with money. You know, he stole money that was meant for the wall and uh, Trump let him, off, let him off. I wonder if they're going to revisit that case or if he's committed other financial crimes. Um, I am seeing money, though. Let's see, what's that money from? It seems like he's spending a lot of money to keep himself out of jail. So it might just be financial problems. I mean, it's yeah. ironic that he killed Trump. Is there anything else? At the very least, he'll become irrelevant. Okay, good. Uh, at the minimum. I haven't asked this question in a long time. I've been very perplexed about this question. I don't know if you've already had a hit and you can tell me what that is, but will they ever identify who planted the bombs? Wow, that is such a great question that nobody has ever asked me. Okay. Yeah. Who planted the bomb? You know how they wear those sometimes at costume parties, the, the sort of like yeah. mask, like Zorro's mask. I see somebody like this. And I'm kind of asking the question, were the bombs real or just a, you know, a fake to distract us? Were they real or fake? When I get the real fake, I kind of get a yes or no. It's almost like they planted them um, and they could have put in the little thing that made them explode, but they didn't. But they didn't, yeah. Yeah. I they see more than one person working on this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how many people you see? At least three. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. And it's just I think they point. might already know who it is and they might so. identify him after Biden wins again. Uh huh. Um, I'm seeing those stairs again, where um somebody's um ooh, and then I'm seeing these justices, you know, actually lady justice. Things are moving for yeah. her. Yeah, and um, 
So are we going to, what are we going to see? A book opens, somebody's reading from the book. It could be a judge. Somebody set it up. Let's see who, who set it up. An American person set it up. It wasn't a foreigner. That's strange. I see an American flag with a big circle, a hole in it, big burn in it. So it's an American person, I think, who wants to destroy our nation, who is opposed to uh, the democracy we live in. Um, I have a feeling that they were working for somebody very rich and powerful. Oh, wow. Very rich and powerful. And they were like a professional. It was like you hire a mafia, you know, figure to go do an assassination. That's the figure I get. They just look really, um, it will be hard to find them because they're that pro. I think okay. they will. Mm -hmm. Will ju just Judge Eileen Cannon ever be removed? Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to clear out my emotions because of, this makes me so angry that she could kill the case one person. But hey, put your anger aside, all right? Let's just see her, what's she doing? You know, I get this like really just dizzy, dopey person. It's like she's just this, you know, superficial dum dum that somehow got this role. She's just, I mean, one good thing I think is that she's not that smart. Jack Smith appears and he's just looking at her like, who is this kid? Um, yeah, there's an interesting little adventure here of us watching how the law works to um, remove her. That's the first thing I get. Wow. I get that she won't know what hit her. Is there anything else you want to? Yeah, I think she will be removed. Um, she sheds a tear um, and she goes to sit in the corner. Um, there's a panel of judges who is deciding, look, you're no longer um, qualified to do this. I want to see why. What What's the pre premise? Just too many errors. There are too many legal errors. And, you know, um, it's uh, it's hard to remove a judge. It's hard to do that. Um, there's but like, she got removed from the last time. But let me tell you what. Smith didn't throw the whole package in there. He has more. So if she screws this one up and tries to make it go away, it doesn't matter because he has a, hot, a whole bunch more records that Trump had. And he'll okay. bring it up again. And if Biden is in office, then she's not going to be able to play. They'll bring I, her up on I agree. egregious yeah. things yeah. that she could even lo lose her law license. That's what I, 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 I agree. Yeah. And one hopes so. Um, I see Trump being sentenced. People are asking, will it? Yes, he's going to lose. He's on a losing streak. And my friend Andre, I don't know if you've ever caught a show with Andre. Oh, he's good. He was saying how I met him. I think he was on Debbie Freebird's channel. Uh, and he was saying, you know, you guys are seeing how he looks like he gets away with everything. He just gets away and gets away. But that's about ready to change because, you know, I don't understand the language of astrology. But because this, that, this, that. And I was like, okay, that sounds good. And he says, you'll watch come. And I can't remember the month he said. But then that's when all these arrests started happening. Right. So now he's saying like April 18th on, especially in June, it looks bad for Trump. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let's face it. You know, everything looks bad for Trump. Look, Trump could not have been possible if the Supreme Court hadn't said unlimited amount of funds to whoever you want with no no uh, no transparency. Those people, you know, have billions and billions of dollars at stake, and they are going to do anything to support him. Know how crazy he is. In some sense, I think that was good because it showed everybody who those people are and who yeah. they would support and how much they, you know, despise democracy. I think that is true. But I have always seen Trump going to jail, always. Like five years ago, I saw him going to jail and that's where I see him go now. Um, the jail cell though, and this is a funny thing, I see him in a jail. And you know how like sometimes I have like a little door? It's almost is like- Is it more like a hospital room? 
I think it's something like it's jail, but it's not jail. It, fe it felt to me, it wasn't like a jail jail. It felt like he was put in some military complex. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where the where he because he still isn't allowed to have secret service. Right. He has to, because you know, they can't let him get murdered in prison. That would be yeah, that would cause another political series. Right. But the one I could see with the orange jumpsuit was uh Jared Kushner. That's coming down the road. Yeah, yeah, I hope so, man. That's one person I dislike as almost as much as Trump. <laughs> <laughs> um do you see CRISPR gene editing coming out to treat medical conditions? I do. Say again. CRISPR technology coming out to treat medical conditions. I don't know anything about CRISPR technology. Oh, okay. It's it's in the U.S. a lot, but my answer to that is yes. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. So. Listen, RFK Jr., I see a nothing burger with that. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, I do. I agree. You know, there's just a lot of us are still traumatized by, you know, two years ago when we were watching everybody die left and right. And then all this denial and all this stuff going on. But um, remember that that is the past. And JFK Jr. is still sort of. He's kind of lost his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take yeah. inoculations. In the meantime, shoot up heroin because I quite enjoyed it. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy that we would listen to such a person. And, you know, what the heck does he know? Like, has he even been to Ukraine? You know, just he hasn't been anywhere. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I work for the State Department. I got more experience than he has in these world affairs. Oh, and he's not a PhD. You know, he's, 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 he's smart, not, but He's taking votes away from Trump, not away from Biden. I'm telling you I, right now. I agree. I think that that will be, it'll be more Trump than uh, Biden. And I think, again, he's just sort of this representation of like, he's just a rich guy with a famous name. He's not, he doesn't have any great ideas. No one is coming up with great ideas to solve the problems of homelessness. I think he's even talking thing. about uh, pardoning the insurrectionists. He's calling them hostages, just like Trump. So people who can't stomach Trump but can't do Biden would probably vote for him. That's possible. I don't think it's. A, I think you're right. I think he's. I think he's dribbling a ball, which just gets less and less air. And I'm. I wonder if he'd even drop out by the end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The some people are asking personal questions, but we. So does uh, Sonia Sotomayor. Will she retire soon? Mm -hmm. Justice Sotomayor. She's a diabetic and she's 69. They're kind of encouraging her before Biden leaves this term, but he's Biden is coming back. They don't want what happened with Ruth, ba Ruth Ginsburg. Yeah. Let's see. So will you continue? I I don't think that she will retire um, before Biden is. Um, Me too. She might retire in the next after. term. Yeah, I think she'd retire after. Can you keep in mind, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, where she was much older. And um, yeah, these are some medical issues, but it's not like, you know, her age is you know, imminent death approaches. She could live in either easily 20 years. Yeah. I think actually they're a little bit worried that the process of replacing her would be incredibly problematic and it will take up a lot of time in the Senate. It will be really divisive. More people be like, oh my God, whatever person that they have before them, they'll really scrutinize. So I think it's just a big, it will distract everybody from the uh, election. There's just yeah. too many possibilities that things could go wrong. Very good. You're you're sizzling, my friend. Oh, right on. Okay. You're sizzling. Makes total sense. Uh, we're already going past 40 minutes. This is wonderful. Good. But, uh, last question. Carrie Lake, is she going to win for Senate in Arizona? Because <laughs> I was asking me questions about people who are really hard to look at. <laughs> Every oh. time my, my camera goes fuzzy, I say, oh, excuse my Carrie Lake. <laughs> oh, 
sounds great. Now let's see what's Carrie Lake doing. Uh, mm. <laughs> I'll have to say, just, you know, uh, she reminds me a little bit of Tammy Faye Baker. Remember, <laughs> just like the um, the makeup's washing off. Um. Oh, that's an interesting flash you have. Isn't it? Like half of the face she's explo exposed and um, she looks quite different. You know, it's really like, like as I'm looking at her now, I just feel like mm, whoever was mean to her in childhood, it's like they're mean to her again because we see who she is under the makeup and... Um, you know, it's it's not nice to be unkind to people for the way they look. But I think that it's just a symbolic, like, here's the real um, leg. You know, she and, was for Obama. She voted for Obama. Oh, yeah. And how does a person change, you know? How does that happen? And I think it happens because people are ambitious and they don't care about their values. There are no values when they get in there. They change. Um, you know, look at... Um, you know, uh, who's the writer for Harry Potter? Look how she has changed. And it's what just, happened to her? I don't know. Well, she's really anti trans. And, um, you know, it's like, what do those people do to you? You know, you're so, she is so rich. She could just live in her castle and throw fabulous dinner parties all the time and invite famous people. I mean, if it were anybody else, that's what we'd be doing. And maybe we'd be like, hey, you know, I could end hunger in my nation just with my name, you know, that's what she could yeah. do with all that money and power. But she's and talking trash about trans? She just, oh God, it's horrible. This is horrible things. And, you know, they're not about trans people who did something to her. No, they're just and they keep talking people. about, you know, sexualizing the children. Let me tell you something. I repost all these white men, military and police officers and preachers who are being going to jail for hurting children that just it's just a there, not one trans is in there not one transsexual person and i would just ask anybody on this now, how many times have you really been harmed by a trans person <laughs> they're the least likely people <laughs> and the funnest you. people to be around too by the it's, way yeah super fun and we're talking about an incredible small minority of people and so yeah. it's easy to make them a target yeah. So I think it's the same thing with Ricky. Like, you know, there's this, you know, power, power goes to the, I think America is a real test. You yeah. know, everybody, you're supposed to succeed. Those are the people who are great in the world. These successful people who've made lots of money or become famous or get yeah. themselves on TV. And that's like always pushing us in that direction. And then there's, you know, just being a good person. Right, like right. always like this sort of battle between these two things that are happening. Exactly. Um, exactly. And, you know, we're always stuck in that space. But, you know, I do feel like it just, you can turn on the news and you can see that just things are not going the way of these people who've sold out. No. They are facing their, you know, Liz Cheney, you know, they are facing the truth. They'll come so up. Listen, it's, it's coming. It, immediately after um, January 6th said, you know what, I was wrong, my sister's gay and I shouldn't have opposed gay marriage, that was wrong. Immediately on January 7th, she said that. And it was like, okay, tick tock Liz, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it, it takes some time. Why did it take, um, you know, January 6th to change her mind? Well, it did. And so here we are and the world is- But she's least... calling out these two-faced heathens. Got and it, got it. Yeah, we got her. And she that. sacrificed yeah. her own seat because she was not going to have it. Yeah, not only her seat, but all her friends, all the respect. I mean, she doesn't have a bunch of Democratic pals that she can go hang out with now. We're going to pat her on the back. She's but you know, can I tell you, years ago, I said, Trump is going to disappear like McCarthyism. All of a sudden, it's just going to filter away. And wow. that's what I'm getting. I don't know if it's because he's gone or he's, but I'm almost feeling that ain't that that uh, horrible United States people against brother against brother uh, families. Right now, with the people I read, I'm getting people saying to me, "You'll never guess what my brother called me and apologized," because they're so done with Trump. Wow, that's great to hear. Oh, so there's that's a lot right. of that. Yeah.
Because the thing that really upset me most about Fox News and Trump was how divisive they are. You know, oh, they lie. They yeah. just straight up lie. Right, right. And misrepresent. Make up stories, yeah. And they make stuff up, yeah, right. I used to see Republicans and Democrats having a reasonable conversation right. I was when I was young. And Fox News just changed that. And, changed. and it became evil. They are not just disagreeing with you. They're evil. You know, Hillary yeah. Clinton is yeah. evil. I don't agree with Clinton. Um, I don't think of, you know, some of the things that she did were right, but let's face it, she would have been a heck of a candidate. Um, she would have, you know, 1.5 million people wouldn't have died if she were president, you know? Yeah, yeah. she would have ran a, a top, not, and good people would want to work with her. Yes. Trump She's couldn't get good people. No, nor so, did he. Nobody wanted to be with Cray Cray, who read Mein Kiff next to his bed. Jeez. Now, so. do you feel like something is going to happen that makes that shift you were talking about like a major event? Or is yeah, it I just feel like there's some real vicious stuff, especially with those stolen records. And there are, we are going to know beyond a reasonable doubt, he sold our top secrets to, even Putin was, was bragging, hey, I already got everything. Yeah. He sold absolutely. our information. Yes. It's, it's like, and that all of a sudden, moles and people within Europe were being killed. And it was flagged and they're saying, somebody has given up our information because our people are dying. It was Trump that did that. Yep, yep, I totally Trump agree. And, and Jared Kushner. Yep, and I think it, um, Israel's, um, you know, the battle between Israel and uh, Palestine, I think part of that had to do with uh, Trump's information, the information that Trump had uh, getting out illegally. Yep, yep. Well, my friend, thank you so much. So I have to get going because I have to pack my bag and get ready to leave at 3.30 in the morning. Oh, good for you. Well, enjoy that. Uh, thank you. you just, you're just going to have such a great time. Are you, you going there so? with some friends? No, I'm bringing my son and his girlfriend and my nephew. We're going to go see the eclipse. If we can't see it, it's supposed to be cloudy. I get a feeling we'll get a little break. I hope so. I'm I asking think for a most benevolent outcome. Yes. Yeah. So um, I think that's going to be just uh, just to be there uh, with the others. It's going to be yeah. a nice experience yeah. for you. All right, sweetie. You take care. You take, take care. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye.